Hello world, this is Random Fix. In this video today, we're going to be testing out the Conway KW681. And this thing's pretty cool because it's an OBD2 reader. And at the very bottom here, we can see it's got some connectors. And basically, you can use this to go ahead and check the state of your battery. And it's also got an inspection monitor readiness. And so in this video today, I'm going to go ahead and review this for you. Hi everybody welcome back to the channel here so this is going to be the review of the kw681 so i'm going to show you guys what's included in this box here and i do want to thank the manufacturer for sending me this as always i'm going to keep my review honest and give you guys my honest feedback and at the end i'll give this a very simple score letting you guys know if this is something you should invest in or further investigate so this is going to be the box that it comes with guys right here so this is an obd2 reader right here this is not an actual scan tool so this is going to do some of your basic functions and sometimes guys basic is better because when you start getting into the scan tools and having to purchase updates that stuff is kind of annoying and expensive so this is a one-time purchase that you can use on most vehicles that are 1996 and newer and it's very simple to use and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So this is the box right here. So we could detect OBD2 faults. We can clear them too. And we could test batteries on cars and motorcycles as well. So that's what this connector right here is for. So this connector is going to be a regular OBD2 connector that plugs into your vehicle. And we're going to be doing that in a few seconds. And this is the connector here for testing the battery. So it just slides in just like that. And then you connect this to the battery itself. You connect the positive and then the negative. And then the display turns on, which we're going to go ahead and test out. And it comes with this nice bag right here, which you can go ahead and protect your OBU2 reader and the user's manual, um, which covers some basic functions on here. So pretty cool uh, that this is all in there. A lot of the new manufacturers only include a CD or give you a website. So I actually like... The physical owner's manuals and it comes with a USB A connector right here so if you want to go ahead and connect this to a computer to maybe do a printout or something like that you can so first let's go ahead and try out this battery tester function right here so go ahead and connect the positive there and the negative here and I'm gonna go ahead and just do this on my auxiliary battery but the same rule applies to your main battery if you decide to do so so you're gonna go ahead and select the middle function right here so we have diagnose car battery motorcycle battery we got a waveform a review and a DTC lookup DTC stands for diagnostic trouble code and let's go ahead and try out this battery function here so we're gonna go ahead and hit OK so I'm gonna go ahead and say that it's out of the vehicle just to make the video a little bit easier for you guys to understand but if you guys did do an in-vehicle battery, it might go ahead and test out your alternator in different systems. But we want to keep it simple. So out of vehicle. And now you're going to go ahead and choose your battery type. I know I have an AGM battery right here. So it has two different AGM types here. It has a spiral. So these are the like the Optima batteries that are shaped like cylinders. And it will be a total of six cylinders basically in one pack. So we're going to go with the flat plate right here and we're going to choose cold cranking amps. My battery is actually going to be in amp hours. However, this does not cover amp hours. So I wish it did. So I just did a quick calculation and roughly 70 amp hours equals about 750 cold cranking amps. So go ahead and hit OK. And it comes back as my battery is at 91% state of charge. And I have roughly about 686 cold cranking amps available. And gives me the voltage right here, which is going to be 12.8 volts. And so it does what it's supposed to do as far as testing the battery. And my battery is not at 100% charge. So this is pretty accurate because I've been camping here for a few days and I've been using all the electronics of the vehicle this seems so far to be good for that and the only way you're going to get a real good idea how your battery is doing is if you get a low tester and i have several different videos about that but if you're looking for a two-in-one device this may serve the purpose so as far as connecting the actual 
OB2 reader here. You're going to go ahead and grab the connector here and look under your driver's side footwell area and you'll find a connector like that. And the nice thing is this plugs in only one way. And once you plug it in, this will automatically power up and just run off the power of the vehicle. So we're going to go ahead and try this out now. And in order to get it, this to connect to the vehicle, you want to make sure your ignition is on. So you want to make sure that the key is in the run position, but the motor is not running. And now we can do some useful things. So in case you're purchasing a vehicle, you can hit this IM function right here. And what it will do is it will check all the inspection monitors. So this is a great test to make sure you're getting a good vehicle that doesn't have any pending issues. So you can see right here that all my monitors except for my air monitor are actually ready. So this one right here in the corner the EGR does not apply. The green ones mean that they're all checked out. And I basically have no diagnostic trouble codes right now. So if I was actually looking to purchase a vehicle, this might be one where I would hold off or have it basically checked. And the reason my vehicle is not ready is because before I started heading out to Montana, my vehicle started acting up. And I had this in the vehicle with me, thank God. Um, and I was able to reset the issue. And now I'm just waiting for the monitor to get ready. And the beeping noise basically will go away once the monitor actually comes online. So this is actually a cool little function. So if you hit escape here, let's go to diagnose. And gives me some basic information here. And I can read codes. And currently there's no codes in my vehicle. And I have pending codes, permanent codes. Uh, I have different videos that cover that. But basically it connects to the vehicle and can also give you data streams. So now it can go ahead and give you the engine coolant temperature, the RPM, the throttle position. If I go ahead and turn on the vehicle, I can go ahead and get more information here. And I apologize about the screen quality here, but uh, the screen is a little dim. So I've gone ahead and triggered a check engine light and let's see if this can actually erase it now. So we're going to grab our scan tool here, head over to diagnose. You can read the codes and it lets me know what's going on in health and this information can help me basically detect the issue. Now what I can also do is I can go ahead and erase the code. So what I like to do now is I like to go ahead and turn the ignition off for a second, turn it back on. And hit OK. And there it goes, it says it's been cleared. And we can verify that the check engine light has been cleared here. So we can hit OK now. And one thing I want to show you, if you guys go ahead and get out of here and go to this IM function here again. Select the top unit. Now we can see all the monitors are actually incomplete. So this kind of gives you an idea that this is a vehicle that you definitely want to stay away from if this indeed was not ready if you were looking to purchase it. The IM inspection monitor button is really helpful. It can basically save you a big headache when purchasing a used vehicle. Alright guys, there we have it. We know this can actually go ahead and clear a check engine light without any faults. And that's the most important thing is that it does not have any glitches. We know that it can test the battery. And if I had to give this a score out of 100 without going too detailed, I'd actually give this a nice reliable score of about 80 as uh, the unit does everything it's supposed to do. There's no updates or anything to purchase. It comes with a nice bag. And currently I found this unit on Amazon for $69 with a $16 coupon, making it roughly about $54. And I would love to answer any questions for you guys on this unit, so comment down below. And I look forward to reading some of your comments. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you guys found the video to be helpful, give the video a thumbs up. And thanks again.